accounting course. Now we're going to be doing, here's it shows unit two, but I'm going to start with, a, I'm going to call it unit one, uh, the basic accounting cycle. Uh, because I, it has so many uh, chapters in them, so yeah, uh, in it. So you have chapter three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are uh, related chapters and eleven too. But eleven we're gonna skip, by the way. I'm gonna replace it with chapter two. Okay. So I'm gonna replace chapter eleven with two, uh, just to to make it match with what I'm doing here. So now let's go ahead and take a take a look at at what that unit is. This is what we call the basic accounting cycle. This is the most important thing in accounting. Anytime you take a, a course of accounting, the basic accounting principle accounting. So you're going to be talk, talking about the first thing you're going to be talking about the accounting cycle. OK, now what's the accounting cycle is? OK, first of all, you have something. Uh, let's, start, let's start with the name of the chapter that is involves here. Something called business transactions and the accounting equation. So now, remember, uh, we have an accounting equation. This is the most important accounting uh, equation uh, that you should know, like the most basic one also. So when we talk about something called assets, liability, and uh, capital, okay, or, or for example, owner equity to be more specific, okay? So owner equity or more general, sorry, not more specific, more general, owner or equity, okay? What does it mean? What does that? So this is all done in class. Uh, on a daily basis, for example, we can be doing this. Now, chapter three has three sections in it. Now, we're talking about something called the property of financial claims. So this is not, now the chapter three is going to explain what's going on in the. So we need to know what asset is. We need to know. This is a great book, by the way. This is I love this book. It has a lot of the details in it. It's a nice details. It's not boring. Uh, it makes you understand things. It doesn't go deep, 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 deep in inside everything. So it doesn't get you out of the, the focus. Uh, and uh, like, because remember, you know, we chose this book because it's closer to high school more than college. So uh, in college, you're gonna take a course like this one, but the course in, in college is gonna be more in, into details than this. So because you're gonna have accounting 101, accounting 102 uh, to start with. Now, let's go back here. Section one, section two, section three. So section two talks about something called the owner investment, cash, What's a credit? Here we're not talking. We're not talking about credit cards and debit card. We're talking about credit and debit in the sense of accounting. It's a different thing. So you can see what I'm talking about when I get to it. So section three talks about transactions that affect what revenue. I'm sure you heard about revenue, expense, withdrawal. Okay. So withdrawals. What does my withdrawal means when you take money out of uh, an account, for example? An expense is opposite the revenue. Okay, so uh, the company gives you, uh, let's say, uh, you're, you're selling things, you're, you're making revenue, and you're paying for things, for example, let's say electricity or water, that's an expense. So this is de those details we'll, we'll be mentioning when we get to them will be nice uh, when we do them together. So anything anything done together will be nice. Yeah? So when, at the minute we are in class and doing, uh, you know, the, the chapters together uh, with a lot of, you know, uh, involvement uh, will be very nice. So I need you guys to be engaged as much as possible, and I'm going to work on you being engaged, and I'm going to make you like the subject because a lot of students, if, on a yearly basis, they, especially the one who don't know what where, what to major, the minute they see accounting course, they like it and they major in accounting, and I, and and I I talked to a lot of them who graduated, and they loved it even after they graduated from college. Okay, so because I've been teaching the subject for 10 years, so that's 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 why I've been, you know, with more than one generation who already graduated from college, even. All right, so I could I'm telling you this with an experience, so you might like the subject that you could major in it. Remember, this is an actual course that does get you involved in majoring in the field that you're talking about here, which is accounting. Now, talk about other things here, for example. We're talking about what uh, the transaction that affect assets, liability, and owner equity. Okay. Now here, sometimes sometimes the book call it owner uh, capital. Uh, it's the same thing, but this is more uh, probably new to you guys. Maybe something that you guys don't know yet. But this is something that could be done. I mean, when we talk about assets or liability, 
probably liabilities. When you talk about liabilities in general, liabilities, if you when you owe someone money, okay, assets such as the, the items or the product that you own, this is yours. It doesn't mean that you paid for it. Okay, for example, you bought you bought a car and took a loan from a bank. And uh, the bank gave you, let's say, for example, you paid 5000 the bank gave you 15000 So you owe the bank 15000 So the car considered to be is yours. So if you go to the DMV, for example, or, uh, you know, uh, where you re register your car, you, the car says, it says your name on it. But actually, do you actually own it? Because somehow there's somebody gave you the money so to pay for it. So that means if you want to sell the car, there's another person who's asking for their share. So that's when we talk about owner equity. We'll talk about it when we get to class. Like I said, details and all that in class. Now, talk about chapter. Uh, this is also the same thing. Revenue and expense. Uh, here, the accounting cycle. Trans oh, yeah. Now we're moving to chapter six, something called the general journal. This is how to write things. How do we do this in account? Now we could start saying, you know what? We're going to start with actual accounting in chapter six. The other chapters probably they could be in any other book. Maybe you could see them, revenue, expense, withdrawal. But when you talk about something called general journal, you're not going to see them only in, in an accounting book. General ledger, posting, trial balance, usually those are actually accounting, 100% account, accounting related. Okay. So up to chapter five, you're probably okay. You've probably heard of them in economic class or whatever, finance class. But when you get to chapter six, you actually know. No, you're, you're, so, uh, by the way, this, uh, I have been mentioned this unit, you, this unit will take the whole, the whole term. So term one will be the whole unit. Okay. Uh, because it's, it's full of things and it has a lot of uh, important things that you need to learn. The last things, uh, chapter eight, nine, 10. Talking about worksheets are also related. Now, here's the financial statement that the most important thing is in accounting, something called financial statements. That's a lot of things, a lot of work here, guys. But like I said, in this book, we're, we're just moving to, to knowledge. But uh, actually, if we go into details, it takes so much time to do, a lot of effort, but uh, we're gonna take as, as, as much information out of this book, out of this course. So when you go to college, you enter the college first year of, of uh, accounting, for example, you are not lost. You, you feel like, oh, well, you know all those things. So that's going to be a benefit to you. And uh, you're going to thank me for it, for taking the class, because the minute you go to college, you're in need to worry about learning the basic. So you could just continue and doing fine. And like I said, I have, I have proof of that. I have a lot of, of students who switch to an accounting major and they no one honest, no one complained about switching to accounting. So you might like it and you might enjoy it. I might, you might do great in it. Okay, guys, good luck. And I'll, I'll see you in school. I'll talk to you. Bye-bye.